Well, hello everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back and I have an interesting video for you. The scenario behind this video is we just finished our trip and what our objective is is you know we don't have a trip for a couple more months and what we want to do is we want to disinfect this filter and prepare it for long-term storage. So first thing we have to think about is what does a filter do? A filter stops microorganisms from coming into the drinking water. So it holds them back here in the hollow fiber membranes of the filter. So when we're going to store this for a long period of time, we don't want to set it on the shelf with all of those microorganisms growing on these membranes. So we have to, we have to do a little bit of maintenance to get this thing prepared for storage. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. I'm going to take some water and I'm going to fill my, my little reservoir here, my little bag. And the first thing I need to do if I've been dealing with a lot of rotten nasty water is I need to do that shake. Uh, if it was a Sawyer, I'd be back flushing right now. So I'm just trying to get water crashing into those hollow fiber membranes to remove any kind of contaminants that might be in this filter. Okay, and you notice I'm putting my finger over the top of it, or I could close this thing altogether. But if it was a Sawyer, this would be a back flushing step. Okay, so you want to do that until the point of seeing that the filter looks fairly clean. Okay. There's one more thing that I recommend we do real quick and that is making sure that the filter is fully saturated. We want to blow through here and see if the filter is still intact. If I'm not able to put air into this pouch, my filter is still good and I'm not able to do that. So that's good. So I'm going to pour this water out because that was basically for the lack of a better description, that was my back flush water. Okay, so the first step of the process is done. Now I'm going to get some more water. I'm going to fill it up a little higher. Not all the way, but pretty close. And now the last thing that I have in my bag is an eyedropper with sodium hypochlorite. That's just a fancy word for household bleach. Now if I was treating this water with a chemical treatment of bleach to make it drinkable, I would use the ratio of two drops per quart or US uh, or liter. Two drops per quart, and, and that's if the water was clear. If the water was pre-filtered through, like, let's say, a t-shirt or a coffee filter, but it still had discoloration in the water, I would double that, okay, and then I would uh, put something on the end, swish it around, let it sit for 30 minutes and if the water was discolored I'd let it sit for uh, double the time because I used double the drops that'd be an hour right so in our case today I'm gonna add because I'm gonna be disinfecting this filter I'm gonna add about four drops to this little pouch one two three four if you get one extra it's okay. Okay, we're just disinfecting this filter. We're not going to be drinking this water. So I'm going to put the filter back on, right on top of the bleach. I'm going to put my finger over the cap here, and I'm going to mix the bleach in with the water. From here, I've got another Nalgene bottle. All I'm going to do is I'm going to filter that bleach water through the filter into this Nalgene bottle. Okay? So I'm disinfecting the filter right now. I am killing everything that's in that filter. Now, when you buy your bleach, 
I highly recommend that you buy cheap bleach like maybe from a dollar store Walmart and, and don't buy the bleach that has fragrances and all that because we don't want all those added chemicals in our water or in our filter for that matter okay so there it is I've got all that bleach water you can smell it it's got a very heavy bleach smell to it so I'm gonna open this a little bit give it a little air and I'm gonna screw it back down and I'm gonna get that last little bit out of the filter here okay that's it okay so when it's done filtering I'm gonna take my be free filter off and I'm gonna set it on the shelf with the cap open and I'm gonna let it air dry okay and we're good to go we just ran bleach water through it and we're safe okay now this water here is not drinking water because of the ratio that I used I put five drops and it's only like half a liter so that would have been way too much bleach to consume in the water when I have that bleach water in this bottle before I pour it out if I just shake it through this bottle and then put it upside down and then just slowly open the cap to the point where it starts leaking out as I'm shaking it as long as the cap ain't coming off right just to the point where it's leaking I'm disinfecting this whole bottle and then I can pour the water out in its entirety and set my bottle out with its open end open what I usually do is I set set it on a stick and let it just sit there now the bottle itself is is disinfected as well so I'm gonna let this sit now on my next outing when I go to grab this off the shelf it's important to run at least two or three of these through before I take this out and start drinking the water out of it so filter two or three containers full and then uh, it'll push that residual bleach flavor out of the filter and then it'll be back ready to use as normal and that's the process that I use to uh, disinfect my bee free filter this process is the exact same process for a Sawyer filter you can use it for the squeeze you can use it for any of these other filters okay so Sawyer Mini Sawyer Micro the Sawyer Squeeze the inline Sawyer it works for those it'll also work for the trail shot by MSR the same process okay back flush and then run bleach water through it again the ratio is if you're if you're going to be disinfecting the water to drink the ratio is two drops per quart or liter but because we're using this as a a cleansing process we triple that so about five or six drops per liter so I hope you uh, got some good useful information out of this video today please feel free to leave your comments down below like this video share this video and thanks for stopping by so thanks for watching We'll see you next time. Bye.